YouTube name change limit. You're only allowed to change your name three times in 90 days. That has been a big frustration for many YouTubers. But in this video, I will show you my newest discovered method so far on how to bypass that limit. Let's go. First, about the previous video that I made, this one, it is patched, as I said in the title, I will change the title to check newer method. That one, I know I've been reading the comments, people have been saying that it doesn't work anymore, as this is what shows when you go onto the Google Plus app or the website. I know that method doesn't work anymore, Google has patched it, you, Google Plus has shut down. So now let's go back and let me show you how to do the newer method. I'll show you the newer bypass method on changing your name unlimited times. First, let me show you how I can't change my name anymore as I've changed it more than three times in 90 days. By the way, let me give a shout out to, let me see, it's Splendor Tail. Yes, Splendor Tail. I came up with the name The Prower actually some time ago, but I wasn't so sure it was officially Shally. And thanks to Splendor Tail, he has told me that this name was a great name and now I'm really confident. So thanks for the chill. shout out to you. I might even keep Prower as my final name, but currently I'll put slash adbane because for people to recognize me easier. And now there it is, we press OK and you see your most hated message changed too recently. So now, let me show you how to bypass that and change your name unlimited times. By the way, this video is not clickbait. I've tested it myself, it works. But, however, let me just clarify, it might not work for you as with all other like hacks or bypasses. It doesn't work for everybody, so if it doesn't work, just tell us. We will keep trying to find out more methods on bypassing that name change limit. And also, Google My Patch these, so as you know, bugs and glitches all get patched. So don't stress when you find out that it doesn't work for you. We will keep finding new methods, or other YouTubers will. So first, what you do is you go to the channel switcher, which I'll post a link in the description below as a Bitly link. So. Over here, you will be able to see your brand accounts if you haven't created any. If you haven't created any, just create a new one. I will create a new one as I don't want to use any of that. So first, put a brand account name. I don't think it matters. But anyways, put it to your desired name. Let's create. It'll redirect you back to YouTube, showing your newly created channel. So now, go into YouTube with your main account. So let me switch to my main account. Over. Once you have switched to your main YouTube account, which your YouTube channel is under, Go into settings by clicking your profile picture and settings. Now go to advanced settings. And over here, move channel to brand account. Click that. Now put in your Google password. Right here, you are able to select a channel you want to move your current channel to. Okay. Yes. So now select your newly created channel. It will tell you that it will delete the um, newly created channel because when you create a brand account, it will automatically create a channel for that brand account. So when you try to move your current YouTube channel to that brand account, it will override the existing account that was just created while creating that brand account. Just press delete channel, it won't affect anything. And right now it will show you that you will be moving your current channel under your new created brand account, which is called the Prower slash Advane. 
guess what? Your channel name will be changed to the Prower Advain. Oh, not your channel. My channel name will be changed to the Prower slash Advain. That means that you will be able to change your channel name. Press move channel. Okay, wait, let's read this. Your channel will no longer, no longer have the custom URL, okay? So we'll have to make a new custom URL. That is fine. And your comments cannot be moved. That, I'm guessing, is probably the comments that I posted on other videos. So that is a major downside. So if you are very um, conscious about your comments, then, okay, this might be something you have to consider. It'll tell you that it will take up to 10 minutes for updates to your account to be completed. But guess what? Right now, my channel zero subscribers out because it needs um, some time for all my content to be moved. But guess what? My name has successfully been changed to the Prower slash Abane. Congratulations, you have changed your name, your YouTube channel name, over three times in 90 days. You have bypassed the YouTube or Google name change limit. So, quick update after a few minutes here. I'll say it's probably around five minutes, maybe. It's not been ten minutes yet, but guess what? When you click on your profile picture, this is my um, other YouTube, uh, my other Google account, and you press switch account. Look, the Prower slash Advane. This is my channel. It has been changed. The name has been changed to the Prower slash Advane, and it has 834 subscribers. So, meaning that my channel has been completely moved. Maybe not completely successfully moved to this new brand account. What, what the? Your account has been permanently disabled. Learn more. Oh wait, okay, I think I've heard of this before. It's a bug with, it's a glitch with Google. I don't know, let me do a bit of research. I'm actually kind of worried now. I'll get back to you. Another update, another update here. So the previous update, I showed you how when I opened up the um, my newly created, my newly moved channel account, it showed me that my um, account has been permanently deleted, disabled, and after a few research, uh, after a few minutes of research, I went on the Google community, Google form, and it, people has been addressing this issue. They say it's a glitch. We wait a few hours. We wait some time, and yes, it does work right now. And I only waited a few minutes, and it's been mostly fixed. I'd say I can access my channel through my brand accounts, and I j I, I kind of like switch browsers because got a bit worried and yep it works it works really well I can access my creator studio and let me see if I can add my new profile photo so everything's good now if you experience any problems like I said before please do um, comment in the comment section below hello again another update I, uh, I forgot to tell you no, I never knew okay that you are not able to create a custom URL after you moved your channel to the brand account. You'll have to wait another 30 days because, I don't know, it kind of counts as your channel is new. Even though if you go into the about section of the channel moved to the brand account, it says that it's it shows the original date of the creating, of creating the channel. But for the custom URL, I think I'll have to wait another 30 days according to bit of research I did so that oh, okay that's one of the downsides but anyways hope you enjoyed the video again any questions post it in the comments thanks please also subscribe to my channel I will be posting more tech hacks and tips I'll also be posting some vlogs some camera shoots and maybe drone videos GoPro videos even music related content Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, bye.